Didn't mean to scare you. If you're working on a lot of projects that require visual effects, then check out this next tutorial because I think it'll help you. In this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to add a terrifying touch to your footage of a zombie attacking the camera and making it look like the glass in front of it shatters into pieces using the AE Juice plugin, Broken Glass. If you're interested in these plugins and you wanna take your footage to the next level, then check out the links in the description. So grab your popcorn and follow along. Let's dive into it. Downloading the AE Juice Pack Manager. So I'm just going to install the software here for After Effects. You have the choice of Premiere Pro or Final Cut. I'm going to click on Install. All right, successful. Now I'm going to close this and I'm going to open up After Effects. And if you go to Window, Pack Manager, then a window would pop up. Put that right there. And it's going to take a minute to load all of the plugins, giving you a tutorial to start your first project. I'm going to log in. So now if I go back to After Effects, I should be able to download all the stuff that's included in my license. So if I click on this, import and create comp, double click on that. And you can see it creates the comp. And there's a placeholder layer there that I could replace my footage. So I'm going to do that put my footage where that placeholder is, fit to comp height. Okay, so I'm gonna find a spot here where she's almost as close to the camera as possible. And I'm gonna create a little bit of a scale effect that almost makes it seem like her head is smashing into the camera. So I'm gonna hit scale, make a keyframe. I'm gonna go back a little bit, make another keyframe, and then I'm gonna scale it up so it's almost like it's a quick movement that her head is smashing into the... I'm just going to add a little bezier here, this one. So the effect is a little more smooth. Then that's going to be my marker for where the effect is going to start. So it's like right when she smashes her head, her crazy zombie head against the camera glass, is that that's when it's going to shatter. And that's going to be the sweet spot that I need right there. Right where I added that scale positioning, that's basically what I want to do. Now we're at the right spot there. I'm going to add a little bit of blood to this. If you want more blood effects, then the AE Juice has you covered. So I'm going to add this clip here. Is then it's going to be as soon as she smashes her head against the glass, that's when the blood shows up. So it's really about finding the right timing here. Right about there. Now let's add some zombie ambiance. Some zombiance, as I would call it. Throw some zombie sound in there. I'm going to throw that in. And what I'll do is I'll adjust the waveforms make the volume, I mean, I could do this in Premiere, but just for this demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do it all in After Effects here. So, I'm just gonna make the wave, the audio levels lower when she's far away, and as she gets closer, the levels start to creep up. Okay, so now to spice it up a little bit more, I'm gonna go back to my AE Juice plugins and I'm gonna find a glitch effect because I wanted to make it seem like the camera feed is just cutting out. So I'm gonna install this glitch pack, drag this into my comp, and now it looks like the feed cuts out. So that's exactly what I was going for. Now I'm gonna render this out. We're good to go. All right, so there it is. You have the right tools for the job, like these great plugins. If you have the right source materials, throw in a little bit of creativity in there, you could be successful. So that's it for today. Hope you liked this video. Subscribe, like, comment below. And if you want any more videos like this, check out our other videos. Have a good one.